Okay, Akomodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So, my Twitter. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the daily chart, huh? Yes, yesterday we had a weird price action. I thought that we would go higher, but then we had some news. I don't know whether or not those news are true, but they, it seems to have had an impact, right? And uh, this is what we have, okay? This kind of a sideways walk here with those huge weeks, one week trying to break down here, one week trying to go all the way up here. And what, uh, in terms of Elliott waves, how deep this wave B has retraced? It has retraced the touched 38, 20%. Okay, which is not that bad. We would it would the sweet spot would be 50%, but it's okay. It this this le at this level here, if we start seeing a, a movement down like this for a wave C. It's okay. Then we have here the 127, 20% of uh, uh, wave A project through wave B. Wait, wait a second. Let me wave. If we have wave B here, you see, this is my extension tool. I am using projecting to now what we have is this data here. So I'm going to project using this point here. Um, Pardon me, where is it? It's here. Okay, here. Okay, so here we have 100%, uh, 786, and it 127, 20% is now deeper. Okay, so we don't have that confluence, but we have the 100% confluence here, if you want. Yeah, 100% of this huge wave A here is now here. 100% and we have the 127% 20% 1 137 20% here okay so we have this region here okay i'm leaning towards of course this algo target here yes that is 786 that this would be 4300 okay this is the daily chart okay guys uh, I am considering this as a B wave. I don't think that we are gonna go higher, but we never know, right? I'm considering that this is in, this wave B is in. But what might happen, yes, I, 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 do, I need to mention that, right? Because uh, what might happen is that we have, we have a triangle formation. Okay, something like this. I mentioned this in a previous video that if this happens, okay, something like this, this would mean that we won't have a new low. This blue line is gonna act as a support, okay, uh, throughout the, the year. And then we're gonna break up here without establishing a new low. This is one case scenario, okay. We have those weeks here trying to break it here. This was, this would be our A wave. Then it would have a B wave that's not complete. Then this structure here is gonna be part of of this B wave here. I I, I know it's difficult. I need to to uh, to see this in a one hour chart to see it make if it makes sense. Okay, and then it would have to establish a new high here, a local high, at least. Seven, uh, touch this upper line here. I don't know. Perhaps uh, seven, seven six hundred, seven six hundred, seven four hundred. If we just touch it, like break this six one eight sixty five resistance here, and just go down again. But this is one hypothesis. Okay, it's possible, but. We, if we are working with the data that we have, I'm considering this A, B, and then we have C. Okay. Uh, the weekly chart here we have, right? Um, as I said, yes, actually nothing has changed, right? Because we we have this spinning top, but we are 
Yeah. We tried to, to establish new highs here, but we had rejection. The weekly chart is not really uh, showing any news here, anything else other than what I mentioned yesterday, that is the 21 EMA is about to cross the 55 EMA. It's about, okay, it's perhaps one week away of crossing or two weeks. We, we need to pay close attention to those two EMAs here if they are going to cross. Okay, this is gonna be a really nasty bearish sign, which would, of course, uh, contribute to this view of going down and then recovering, okay? breaking this this blue line resistance um, support. I'm sorry, this blue line support here that has been established for that has been established since like November, right? It it has been a strong support. Okay, one hour chart. Uh, this is what I have been proposing, right? That we have finished wave A here. Yeah. This whole structure here going all the way down, all the way down. This is my A, B, C. This A, B, C here is this A, B, C here. Okay, again, comparing with the daily chart to make things clear, I think clearer. A, B, C here, then down, this is our A, okay, this is, this A here is this A here, okay, now we have this B, okay, this B here, relative to this A, is 38, 20%, as we measure, okay, this B here, uh, and we failed to, to reach this 127, 20%, which, which would be the sweet spot for wave C. We haven't got there, okay? We dumped. You see, it's a weird price action, actually, yeah? because we, we haven't completed the one, two, three, four, five structure for our wave C. Of course, if we go to lower, lower time frames, we are gonna find five waves structure here for our wave C. But it's difficult, yes, it's uh, it's difficult to, to have an argument, an uh, Elliott wave argument for this price action here. And we have this channel, right? What this channel is telling us, guys? This is a nice thing, eh? This channel is, is like, now we are below the median line of this channel, right? And we have to break, we, we are walking sideways without really establishing anything we need to either break it down or break it up okay of course right we have uh, touched if we zoom this thing here um, we have touched the sweet spot for our wave three here if we consider that this is a one two okay one two then this is a three. I have the FIB extension here for our wave three here. This is what we have, okay? The sweet spot for our wave three is here and it's touching the bottom line, uh, the bottom line of this channel. The, and then we have this wave four here that's in information, I don't know. Let's measure it to see. Uh, let me remove this thing. And there it is, the nuclear siren again. It's a characteristic of my, of my video, isn't it? So here we have the 50%, so we might go as, as high as 50% here, which would be 6,400, four, six uh, 6,500 perhaps, uh, 6,500, six yes, perhaps, uh, one week. I see this is an A, B, and C. Okay, something like this. If this is correct and we are in a wave, okay, something like this, it's going, it's taking its time, okay, guys? So I expect something like this. Perhaps if, if this is going accordingly, 
I have a minus 3360% here on algo target that is exactly at the support here. So I would expect it to touch it here and then we finish the wave 5 and have a reaction for our wave 2 of this larger degree structure here. Okay. So uh, are we gonna break this structure here? Are we gonna break this channel here? This channel here is characteristic because it has started at the what can I say at the at those throw offs here. If we this is where I'm talking, this is where I'm marking my wave A in the last wave five, yes. And then we had this A, B, and C with a double X, Y inside of B. So uh, a sideways, a double combo inside the B, inside of this B, a really uh, flat correction, extended correction for this whole structure. It wouldn't be different because Bitcoin is stalling for time. Okay, and now we are going down. Uh, it's difficult to to understand this differently. This price action is clear a motive wave that's going down one, two, three, four, five, isn't it? I don't know. If you have a different view, if you have a different count, please tell me. I would like to hear your opinion. So, um, as always, if you haven't followed me on social media, on my Twitter, please consider doing so. And uh, you, we have a Discord group now. You can you you find the link in my description. Uh, please join us there and let's have a nice conversation and have a nice time together. And uh, if you like it, if you like my content, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Okay. Thank you very much, and we we'll see each other next one. Bye bye. Cheers.